Hey guys, welcome back to Makeup and Hustle. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Vidi and I just wanted to start out by wishing you guys a very happy Navratri if you celebrate it. Um, but I hope you guys are staying well and staying safe. Today we're creating a fun look for Navratri, something that is going to be long lasting, something that will stay put throughout the Groba session and the Dandias and all of that. So I hope you guys will stick around to see how I came up with this look and how um, you can rock it for Navratri without having to worry about it rubbing off or anything like that. Um, usually my makeup does stay put for a very long time, so um, if you're keen, then stay tuned. Um, but before we get into the video, please don't forget to like this video and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, it does help me out loads, but without further ado, let's get on into the video. starting out with my base as usual so I'm going in with a primer first and today my choice of primer is the Fenty Beauty uh, Pro Filter Hydrating Primer in Soft Silk this is one of my favorite primers I'm just going to use my fingers to apply this all over my face I always let the primers sit on my skin for a little bit for it to absorb properly. So I want to go in with like a bold lip today. So we're going to sort of take that route for the most part. I'm going to try anyway. Things usually take a turn while I'm doing eyeshadows. Um, but today I am going in with my Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Radiance Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid. This is in shade F8. I'm just going in with my Sephora sponge to blend everything. I'm going to make sure that I push in my foundation as much as possible. I want it to sort of be my skin of sorts, but like with decent coverage. I just hate foundation on my lips. It looks just so ghostly. I'm not a fan. I had to clean that up and I feel like it looks so much better now. I'm just going to quickly do my brows and then I'm going to do my concealer. So I'm just going to pop off real quick. I am going in with the Maybelline Tattoo Brow today. Um, so I'll just quickly do my brows and I'll be right back. So brows are in place um, and then I'm going to go in with my concealer. And for concealer today, I'm going in again with a Revolution product. So this is the Revolution Super Size Conceal and Define and this is in the shade 8.5. Um... Obviously, I do realize that the shades are a little bit different, but this is still brighter. So I'm just going in with the tiniest amount. And I'm just going to use a brush to blend this out, but I'm going to let this sit for a little bit. Okay, so it's been about 20, 30 seconds since it's been sitting on my skin. I'm just going in with a brush from e.l.f. This is their Blending Perfecta. And I'm just going to use that to buff out the concealer and then I'll um, sort of smooth it out with the sponge as well. Just going back in with the sponge that we used to blend out the foundation and just buffing everything into place. And then I'm going to set everything with the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. And then for the rest of the face, I'm going in with my Australis Fresh and Flawless in Deep Natural. I think I'm going to stick to powder products today. I just feel like I don't want to go in with any cream products anymore. So if you were to go in with cream products, I would highly suggest that you um, use them before setting your face because that will just, it'll just be a little less cakey and stuff. Now that we have the base on, let's get on um, into getting some color back into the face because obviously we're looking really, really flat. Let's throw it back to the Revlon Sculpt and Highlight Kit. Um, this is a quad and it basically comes with a banana powder for your under eyes. Um, it also comes with a little bit of a highlight and it comes with a bronzer and a contour shade. Um, I'm actually just going to stick to the bottom two colors. So I'm actually going to combine both of them and apply that as 
bronzer contour of sorts. Now this one does have a lot of kickback, so be careful. I've just tapped it off and I'm just going to very lightly, because even like when you're applying it, like you'll still feel the kickback coming on. So just very lightly, I'm just feathering um, the product in and I'm not taking it any lower. I'm actually concentrating it just above that dip um, because that's just going to give us higher um, cheekbones when we highlight and everything like that. So. so you can see we've got a little bit of a definition there now. It's not coming off super strong in the video, but um, in person you can definitely see it a, lot, a little bit more. And then I'm taking a smaller brush and I'm going in with just this shade right here. And I'm just going to lightly contour the nose. And I'm also just going to curve it into the eye socket. And then I'm going to take that sponge and I'm just going to dab that and then for the rest of the face I'm actually just going back in with the powder brush there's nothing on it um, but you just want to sort of diffuse any harsh lines just so that it looks sort of natural And for blush today, I'm going in with one of my all-time favorites. This is the Essence Peach Me Up blush. I absolutely love this one. I hate the packaging because it is, it's always, like I've seen so many people have this issue, Essence, you need to fix this, but it's such an incredible blush. I'm taking the e.l.f. stipple brush, and then I'm just placing that just in the temple region, not temple, but like on the sides, and then dragging it down. If you bring it in too much, especially if you have a round face, um, it's just going to make it a bit more chubbier and it's going to make it a little bit um, aged as well of sorts. Again, just going back in with my powder brush and then just diffusing out any harsh lines. Onto my favorite thing, highlight. So for highlight today, I'm actually going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Tourmaline. This is out of a palette. I can't remember which one. It's one of her glow kits, but I really like this highlight. Um, just going in with the e.l.f. small tapered brush, grabbing the highlight, and just on the high points. Oh, so good. Um, and the cool thing with this particular one, it's quite similar to the blush, so it's going to look really pretty. Like as if like you're glowing from within, except that we have a strip, but um, if you like a glow from within look, but you like intense highlights, how I like to go in with products like that um, is I would place the highlight first and then I would place the blush on top. That just sort of blends in when you apply the, uh, the blush on top. Just highlighting the high points and just do the center of your chin because that'll pull it forward. If you have a round face, it's just going to make it nice and long rather than short and stubby. Like the placement is key. I don't highlight the entire nose. I just do the tip and then I just do this part right here. Um, and I feel like that just for my face shape and if you're similar, it would look really, really flattering. Now I'm going to actually set everything in, in place. My go-to setting spray for longer lasting makeup um, is the Maybelline Lasting Fix Setting Spray. This is going to lock it in. It's not going to budge. It's going to make it almost transfer proof as well. Um, and it's going to be great for masks as well. I absolutely swear by this setting spray. Um, and this I get incredible results from. So I'm just going to quickly set this. You can just go in with your sponge. So now that it's really dry, one of the key things that I like to do um, for that longevity is I go back in with my powder and I just take 
do that and then um, you want to just sort of mix the powder like lock it in at the back of your hand make sure that your powder is completely um, smashed into the brush and then you want to go into your t-zone and just repowder just in the t-zone or normally where you would get oily and then whatever is left you can drag it out and that's it for now now i'm just going to quickly do something really simple like i said i want to focus on my lips today so i'm going to do something really simple with my eyes sorry i don't have the outfit um it's sort of packed away in a box on a shelf that i cannot reach um i'm just going to buff out any creases that have happened from the concealer and the powder and the setting spray and now i'm actually going to go in with my MAC In The Flash palette. Um, it's just really basic neutrals um, of, you know, like just easy palette basically. Um, I'm going to go in with a big shader brush and I'm going to go in with this shade to set everything in place. Then I'm going in with this shade right next to it, so which is like a pink sort of a color. And again, I'm placing that just exactly where I placed that, just not taking it up to my brow bone, mainly focusing it on my lids and my crease. And then I'm just taking a small shader brush and I'm going in with this third shade in the, or like the shade in the middle of the palette. And I'm going to be placing that on my mobile lid only. So once we have that, using the same brush, I'm just going to go on the sides and grab that second shade. And we're going to take the help of this shade to blend everything out. So, just like that. And then I'm going to take this shade just to the tip of the brush again. You can obviously change your brush, I might actually. Um, and I'm just going to do that on my lower lashes. I'm going to quickly line my eyes. You can if you want to, you don't have to. You can also do like a kajal and stuff like that. Um, again, it's just personal preference. I'm just going to go in with like a really thin liner with the Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner. super close to the lash line i'm not going to wing it out or anything like that because my eyes do tend to water occasionally and i cannot take that risk of it rubbing off just like that and now i'm actually going to set my face one more time before i go in with my mascara because i don't want it to run down so i'm going in with again the same setting spray remember we had already powdered it down so now I'm going to just quickly set that one more time. Now for mascara today, I'm going in with the Maybelline Sky High in Waterproof. Um, again, sweating and stuff like that, so you don't want it to run off. Um, so just a couple of coats of this. Or if you want it really intense, I think the ideal is three coats with this mascara. All right, so I'm going to wait for that to dry. In the meantime, I'm going to start doing my lips. Um, for lips today, I'm going to go in with this NYX lip liner in deep purple. Um, let's go in with this lipstick from Essence. Um, I think it's just called Matte 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 number three just looks something like that obviously i filled it in a little bit um but now i'm just going to go in with this lipstick that looks really good i'm just going to go in with my second coat of mascara now 
there we go. Alright you guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope you guys will stick around and subscribe to my channel. Um, it would help me out loads. And please again, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. If you try any of these techniques and they work for you, please leave me a comment and let me know. Um, I would love for you to spread the word if it helped you out. Um, but I hope you guys have a very happy Navratri and I hope you guys enjoy Gerba because we are not doing it here. Um, we've just got out of lockdown. Um, and it's going to be a while before we actually get to enjoy it. So um, enjoy it on my behalf. But I hope you guys are staying well, staying safe. And until next time, take care, you guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.